Good afternoon and welcome to Pets on Parade brought to you by 3TV. My name is Kelsey Dickerson with the Arizona Humane Society. Thank you so much for tuning in with us today. Now we have a lot of adorable kitties with a lot of great stories and are a fan of Jim Carrey, then I think you're going to be a fan of The Mask. We'll introduce you to Mask the Kitten in just a few minutes, so stick around for that bundle of cuteness. And how cute are these maternity photos? We want to introduce you to Klondike and her ice cream cones. Klondike came to AHS from the Humane Society of the White Mountains as part of our partner assistance program, Project Outreach, or Project Reach Out. We quickly realized that Klondike was pregnant and she was welcomed into the home of AHS's adoption supervisor and foster hero, Taylor. Two weeks ago, Klondike gave birth to nine healthy puppies known as her ice cream cones. Taylor is taking excellent care of this pack of 10 and we will share this journey towards adoption on AHS's Facebook page and Instagram account at AZ Humane with the hashtag Klondike and Cones. Oh my gosh, so cute. And our show is full of absolutely beautiful pets, including Diana, who I'm sure can be a little bit of a princess. We'll tell you all about her and her story in just a minute. And you know how much we love when our pets are given people names. Well, I want to introduce you to Dave. This sweet kitty is 15 weeks old and was brought to the Arizona Humane Society's Campus for Compassion location by a good Samaritan after they said that they found him and his sibling in the middle of the road. Definitely not a safe place for anyone to be, especially such a tiny and sweet kitty. This adorable cat was treated for a little stomach bug, but after a few doses of medication was feeling good as new in no time. You can meet adorable Dave at our Sunny Slope location today. And now we have a gorgeous pup who I'm going to pretend is named after my favorite superhero, Diana Prince, a.k.a. Wonder Woman. And she sure looks like she could be a superhero, Lisa. She could be a superhero. She could be Princess Diana. Whatever you want, this girl is going to do it. She is one year old. She is an owner surrender. Uh, she ended up being a little bit too much for the people that had her. And I don't know those of you out there that have had one year old puppies. I can see why. Because point she's in her adult body and she still has the brain of a puppy so she is going to be a little bit more to handle but um, her owner surrender was having her owner was having to put her outside when she would leave and then was going to be she was a little bit too much for her when she came home from work but she has lived with other dogs she is reported to chase the cats so sorry no kitties for Diana but um, she is so smart and so eager to please at this age. She's a beautiful dog. She's a nice size, about 50 pounds. She wants to do agility. She runs and plays fetch. She likes to play tug. She just doesn't like baths. But I can't really say any German Shepherd isn't exactly the same. So I'm sure Diana is going to be very popular at a one-year-old purebred German Shepherd. But please keep in mind, right now we are still having a donation match to help dogs like her find their forever homes. Our VCA uh, vet partners are matching all donations up to 20000 right now. So for every dollar you donate, it automatically doubles your donation. So you can go on our website and hear all about that if you want to make your $1 turn into 2 Diana is just gorgeous. Thank you so much for that amazing information, Lisa. And our next kitty is sure to say, ooh, somebody stop me. Tell us all about Mask's key. Mask, this little guy is just winning Jennifer over over here. He's just sleeping, happy as can be, and purring in her hands over here. You know, we got him through our admissions. You know, he was just part of the litter. We don't know if he was outside, inside. But, you know, our admissions department is always a judgment-free zone. So when you have that animal that you have to say goodbye to, whether it's a found kitten or a lifelong partner in crime in your house, you know, we are no judgment zone. So do right by those animals that you love. Now, this little guy here was brought in and put into foster. And as you know, we're always in need of something. And right now, we are really in need of that canned chicken, canned tuna. Of course, always in water, not in um, any of the oils broths as well also salmon sardines and these are important because when these little guys need their medication they're going to gobble it right up in those canned items so remember you can deliver those canned items to any four of our valley locations as well as if you're just on amazon or you want to say hey alexa order 10 cases of chicken and water for arizona humane society and have it delivered you can have it delivered directly as well so be sure to stock us up and help these animals in need this holiday season coming up
Oh, yes, so important. Thank you so much, uh, Ski and Jennifer. And now we want to show you Blitz and his dad, David, were separated by 5,550 miles. Blitz was in Arizona and David in France. When David returned to his home country of France back in March to sort out his U.S. visa, he trusted someone to look after his best friend, three-year-old German Shepherd, Blitz. Somehow, Blitz arrived at the Arizona Humane Society, and while he was microchipped, it was registered with a European company, and the information was unavailable. Thankfully, David reached to out to HS right away via Facebook, and he was understandably panicked and desperate for help. Blitz was his only family in the U.S., and even worse, he only understood French commands, and our heart broke imagining the confusion this pup must have felt. Knowing that he could not be kept in the shelter for months before his dad's return, we reached out to some of our most dedicated foster heroes, Scott and Necky, to see if they could help. Between Scott's ability to speak French and the pair's experience with high-energy pups like Blitz, it was a perfect match. Six months later, David returned for Blitz, and they could not have been happier to see each other. We are so thankful to everyone who helped in this unique situation, from our pet reunite specialist, Victoria, who stayed in constant communication with David, to our foster team, who worked tirelessly to find a temporary home. And just look how happy everyone is. We love that. And in the words of Kid Rock, I want to be a cowboy, baby. Well, this next pup might be a cowgirl, but she's as adorable as ever. Please tell about this cowboy. <laughs> right, as we discussed, Kelsey, this is a little cowgirl, actually. A concerned neighbor called the Arizona Humane Society for the welfare of their dogs in their neighborhood. And when we got there, um, they were in not the greatest conditions, but they were actually okay. The owner did admit, however, that they had too many pets and they really weren't able to care for all of them. So they did surrender some of them to us and the little cowboy is one of them here. They also told us that they thought that cowboy had been pregnant for about a month. And when we got her back to the Second Chance Animal Trauma Hospital, we discovered no, she wasn't pregnant. She had a big mass on her abdomen. And so uh, it was removed and she's doing just fine now. You know, masses with dogs are, well, kind of a way of life. Uh, they are, tend to be more common in older age, and they also tend to be certain breeds are prone to have masses. Um, the majority of them are just that, fatty masses in their body, but you never know, they can be uh, cancerous. So when you do have an animal that has a mass, get them into the vet immediately to be looked at. Like I said, chances are they're benign, but you never know, and you want, you know, action is, has to be very, very swift in these uh, situations like this. Also, the way to prevent them, you know, take your animal to the vet every year, uh, if not more often than that, for a, a, a checkup. And that will uh, give the vet a good chance to see whether they have anything going on inside them like that, like a mask. So always uh, do your due diligence and get your pets in there to the, uh, the vet as, as soon as you can. Anyway, a little cowboy here, a little cowgirl, whatever she is, <laughs> very sweet, a little timid. What a gorgeous little long-haired chihuahua, though. Just take a look at her. She's very calm, loves to be petted, going to be a great lap animal. Oh, so cute. Thank you so much for that really important information, Perry. And we want to introduce Fall Break Camp 2019 Junior Animal Cups. Your child will experience a fall break camp unlike any other where they can become a junior animal cop. This October 7th through the 11th, kids ages 9 through 13 will have the opportunity to explore the world of our animal rescuers, the stars of Animal Cops Phoenix. Campers will practice field medicine techniques, learn how to use rescue equipment, follow a mock cruelty investigation, and courtroom trial and more. This camp will have your kids on the edge of their seat, so don't let them miss out on this one-of-a-kind camp. Learn more and register at azhumane.org slash camps. And I think the only thing missing from this adorable show is the little magic. So Lisa, do you think your kitty can help us out with that? This is Houdini. I, I don't know what he's doing right now. He's perched up on my hands. It looks like we're about to do a magic trick, but I'm sorry, I have no trick for everyone except for this adorable black kitten. He seems to be a tad afraid and wants to kind of hide behind my arms here. So I'm obliging while we talk. Houdini was found in the middle of the road. You know, usually when you find a cat in the middle of the road, it's a really bad sign. But we didn't know quite what was wrong with Houdini. But luckily, he was alive and they scooped him up and brought him, some good Samaritans brought him into the Arizona Humane Society. So we talk a lot about on the show about um, what you should do if you find a sick or injured animal. If it's safe and the animal will allow you, you can get the animal yourself and contact the Arizona Humane Society. Our Pet Resource Center is available. If it's an emergency, you'll be transferred into our uh, EAMT dispatch office. Um, if you can't help, don't feel bad. If you can stay on scene or even if you need to call 911, we do work with the 
police departments and other rescue people to try to get help. Keep your own safety in mind first. But Arizona Humane Society responds to about 12,000 calls like this a year. So please, if you see something, say something. Don't expect somebody else is going to do it. We would rather get two calls than no calls or be too late. So please keep that.